All right, so now let's go ahead and, and look at the next uh, test case for um, MP1. And this is the test that are that we're able to search the list of restaurants. So before you get here, make sure you have the previous test cases working, including that ungraded uh, testing method that we were just working on to make sure we get all the information properly out of the CSV and into that JSON. Um, and now what we're doing is, is we're writing a method. And this is one of the cases where this is pretty similar to a homework problem. So we'll, we'll sketch out some code together and then I'll lead you to it. Um, one of the things I would suggest you do though before you get started on this is commit and push your work. So I just did that and you can see here that I've got 30 points because I got 20 points for the first test case and there were no detect problems. So, so do this, like early and often commits are great, right? Like this is, this is really, really helpful, really useful. Okay. So the restaurant search is broken. I expect that because it's not working. Let's go over to the models.kt file and we'll take a look at what's going on. So as I promised, this is a cool feature of Kotlin. This is something called an extension method. An extension method allows you to add methods to existing classes. So I didn't write the Kotlin list class and I certainly didn't write the list restaurant. That's a parameterized class. But what Kotlin allows me to do is to add a method to it that then behaves as if it's an instance method. So if you look at the test suite, restaurants is a list of restaurants and I'm using restaurants.search to search that list, right? So this is just kind of like a cool Kotlin feature that you can use. And, and I use this in certain places in my own code. I kind of, kind of like this. And I, so I thought it was a fun place to kind of brag on Kotlin a little bit here. Um, and so, however, there is a good write-up of what you need to do here. So I'm going to go back to the lesson and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to turn off the missing pieces. And you can see right here, here's a complete description of what you need to do. So we need to write in a static method search. This is an extension method that, uh, that, that I should, I'll, I'll modify this description, right? So, so this uh, takes an input string and it's supposed to return restaurants uh, based on two criteria. So if the input string exactly matches one of the cuisine values in the list of restaurants, you should only return the restaurants that have a cuisine value that exactly matches that input. Now, everything is case insensitive. So that's in the problem description as well. However, if the input doesn't exactly match a cuisine, then what you should do is you should return all restaurants where either the name or the cuisine contains the input string. So it's a partial match. Um, and so this is a case where you can use all these built-in features and, and built-in um, data structures in Kotlin that we've talked about in the past. Sets, maps, lists, you know, the, it's wide open, right? Um, you do need to return a new list. You should not return, remove items from the list that you're passed. So the first thing I'll, I'll do is I'll say to return is equal to uh, mutable list of uh, restaurant. All that'll start off as empty. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll populate that. Now you might wonder, how do I figure out all the different cuisines that are in the list? Well, I don't know, maybe a set, maybe a map. There's some options there, right? Um, you probably are going to need to make two passes through the list, probably one pass to figure out what all the cuisine values are there and a second pass to actually do uh, build up your, your return list. So one list, you know, you build up your set or your map or whatever you use to keep track of all the cuisines. And then the second pass, what you do is you actually populate the list. And at that point, you know whether or not the input matches one of the cuisines or not. So you know whether or not you're just looking for restaurants that have an exact match on cuisine, or you're looking for restaurants where either the name or the cuisine contains the string, right? So it's the result of that first pass through the list. You build up that data structure that allows you to figure out what type of search you're doing. Okay. So I'll leave it to it. It's kind of a, a fun little problem. It shouldn't take a huge amount of code to do this. Um, that's not to say it's not hard. It's just to say that like, if you end up writing a lot, a lot of code, please come find us for help. And hopefully we can help you simplify things a little bit. So good luck on this, um, your next uh, challenge on the MP.